Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. All right, let's craft together. All right, guys, today I'm going to be showing you this is an image that I created in CF Spark Creative Fabrica. And um, you can see that it has this extra arm on the back. So I'm going to show you what I would do using Playground AI Stable Diffusion 1.5 to kind of clean this image up and uh, make it look a little bit nicer. Okay. So that being said, let's get started. So I'm going to jump over to Playground. All right, one second here. <clears throat> and I'll type in playground. So you can see I'm using the playground. And I'm going to go ahead and click on create to get logged in here. And um, I'm just going to type in just a, you know, African American. We know for sure that part is in the image. And that's all I'm going to put. All right. So once you do that, we're then going to upload our inspiration. So we're going to come down and click on this little plus sign. And I'm going to look. You can see I played around with it um, in my download folder. And we're going to find her here with the extra arm on the back. Okay. And I'm going to leave everything over here. We have model 1.5, the image dimensions. I'm going to leave it the 512 by 640. The prompt guidance, I'm going to take up to a 15. And I'm going to take the quality down to a 40. Okay. I'm using the K Euler Ancestral. Um, I, I also like just K Euler. So we'll see what K Euler does this time for me. And I have it on just one image because I'm going to play around with one before I start venturing out. And then the main thing is I want to keep my session private. So we'll just move that radio dial over to the right like you see it. I'm not going to change anything else here on the right. I mean, on the left, except for um, <clears throat> there was someone that I was watching on uh, my YouTube and they gave these negative prompts. And so I'm going to paste those negative prompts in here so that I don't have to type them out every time. Okay. And I'll put these in the description for you if you'd like to use them. And let's see, at this point, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to take this up to about a 65. I'm going to take it up to a 65 for image strength because I'm trying to keep it in its likeness as much as possible, even though I'm going to do some upgrades to it. But I'm just going to show you how we can get it as close so we can try to get rid of this arm. And then at this point, we're going to click on generate. All right. So she's kind of cute, kind of cute. <clears throat> All right. But still has that arm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here on the left where it says add M painting mask. I'm going to click on that and it's going to show us our original image. And I'm just going to take these, look, this little crosshair, and I'm going to use that to kind of 
erase what I don't want in the picture, which is this arm. Okay, and we're just gonna use the little crosshairs here and erase all of that out. Now it's not gonna be perfect because keep in mind, I am not an artist, I am a crafter. All right, and when we get that done, <clears throat> we're gonna come down to the bottom and select erase, okay, and done. Now what we wanna do is come back over and generate, you can see the arm has been erased here. We're gonna click on generate. And whoop, there it is, the arm is gone, okay? So what we can do now <clears throat> is we can come back over and um, up in the top, we're going to go to actions and I'm not gonna do any upgrades or anything to it. I'm just going to download this because right now you would not be able to change the image strength or anything like that. So what we're going to do is come up and click on actions and say download. <coughs> and then we're gonna get this PNG file here in the left-hand corner. We're gonna click on that. And Pretty sure I clicked on it. I know I did. I guess it's just taking a minute. Okay. And I'm going to say save as. And I'm just going to put this in my downloads folder. Now let's just say PG one. Okay. Now we got that done. We're now going to come back. We're going to delete the image that's over in the image to image. We're going to delete it by clicking on the trash can. We're going to click on that plus sign and we're going to go to our desktop and get the image we just downloaded. And I think I put it in the downloads folder right here all right so now we have her without that extra arm and you can play around with it you can now increase the um image strength here i'm going to put it on about a 70 and generate and look at that ain't she hot ha ha hot <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> now it looks a whole lot better than what it did with that extra arm in there, a lot cleaner, a lot crisper. Um, you can take this and go to actions and you can, you know, upscale by four times if you like to do more upscales. But again, guys, those images that you're deleting in Creative Fabrica, and I'm just going to assume that she has her hand like in a pocket. I'm not even going to worry about that. Um, but once you upscale, you want to download. Okay, you have to download. And we're just going to say save it as. We're going to take it back to the downloads and we'll say PG. And save. Okay. Now you can close out and... Again, we can take that image from the image to image. Click on that plus if you want to continue to play around with it. And we'll scroll down here and now we have the PG2. A little bit of work to do, but it's much better than, you know, having this that had the extra arm on there. Okay, so I kind of played around with it uh, on there. We can delete that one. And now, guys, you can use that image and you can come over and add filters. 
Um, if you're new to Playground AI, guys, I do have a video tutorial on my YouTube channel that tells you how to use it. So this is not for the newbie. This is more for the advanced users. But if you're using CF Spark or Creative Fabric Spark to generate digital Im Im images, sorry, it's time for me to go to bed, and you're getting a lot of extra arms, legs, so on and so forth, this is the place to come where you can remove those extra limbs. So stop deleting those images, especially if they look pretty good. Like you can see this one was uh, out there in left field, okay? So you can use these filters to kind of play around with them and, uh, you know, see what you get. <coughs> All right, so not quite, <laughs> she's cute, but not quite what I was looking for but she's cute though. All right. So, um, you know, it just depends on, you know, what, what you want your image to look like. So let's check out cinematic. All right, let's make sure. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to bump that up to make sure that we're not getting some of this stuff um, that we're getting because it's changing our image completely. Okay, so let's try color pop. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope, we're not. That kind of took us back to the CF Spark. Let's go back to Lush Illumination. I'm not sure why it changed that completely because normally, now that's better. This was a fluke. I don't know why it did these, even though they're cute, but that's not what we we're going for. This is what it's supposed to do. Keep it in the uh, original, but just add, you know, the filters based off of what you're choosing. So let's try one more. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's try cinematic warm and generate. All right, kind of cute. But I think that this one right here is our best. So we're just going to keep it at this. I'm going to go ahead and do a face restoration on it. And make sure you download. If you close out, then you're canceling out your uh, updates. And so now we have this little cutie. We can save as. <clears throat> and we're just going to say PG3. Now, when I, <clears throat> excuse me, just to kind of give you a visual here you'll be able to see the drastic change, changes that we just did. So we'll start out with this. So this is where we started at <coughs> with our image in um, Creative Fabrica. And this is what we ended up with after we did our changes here that I showed you how to do in Creative Fabrica. I mean, in Playground AI. Okay. So there we go. All right. So again, stop getting rid of those images and create a fabrica because of extra lambs, blurriness, so on and so forth. 
um, bring them into Playground AI, and you can do those updates just like I did. We got rid of that extra limb, and we also improved the quality of the image. All right. All righty, guys, that's my story. If you're currently in my Facebook group, I want to thank you guys so much for being in my Facebook group, um, Ken Doris's Cricket and Creative Crafters. I will link it in the, in the description of this tutorial. If you would like to join my Facebook group, um, you do have to agree to the Facebook group rules. And also, if you're currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, I want to thank you guys so much for the love and support that you show via YouTube. I love interacting with you via the comments. Eventually, I'm going to go live one day, just not today, okay? Um, and if this is the first time you're seeing me and you like my method of teaching, then please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please like, 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 please. If you benefit, guys, from watching the video tutorials, just give me a like, okay? Because it helps us as, you know, creators on YouTube. Um, and you guys know that my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys have an amazing day. Bye.